god. <laughs> oh, there is a cop behind me, pulling me over. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be, hopefully if everything goes smoothly, finishing up this car, getting it started up for the first time with its new turbo kit on a bass tune, and doing some data logging, hopefully finishing up tuning and getting it absolutely completely buttoned up and finished to drive four hours tomorrow to Dallas, Texas to our event that we're hosting there. Anyways though, check it out. So we got one of the turbos completely mounted already. Doug's working on getting the second turbo hung right now. All the piping is already ran from the turbos all the way up to the intercooler up here. We got the six inch core intercooler mounted. I've already got the bass and flash onto the car ready to go whenever we get all this installed if you guys remember also we went ahead and pulled the motor apart did oil pump gears and crank sprocket pretty much all that we're going to need to do today is fill this car with coolant get the turbos bolted up do a few knickknack things here and there get the battery tray back in and get it started up somehow doug made it possible to twin turbo a freaking gt350 in four days time <laughs> four days doug you're right. a whole man thank you <laughs> Check this out. So Doug's got the turbo pulled apart right now because we're actually replacing it with a different housing. The housing that they sent us was a little bit too big for what we we're going to be doing. They tried to give us an upgrade, which is awesome. Thank you, comp. But the issue was that the compressor housing outlet right here, the discharge, and also the filter uh, was a little bit too big. So we had to get the correct housing sent to us. So we're going to go ahead take that housing off and put our proper housing on but while we have it off check that out look at that billet turbine beautiful huh? that is so beautiful look at the hold down nut too before we get started though i do want to say huge thanks to hellhorse performance if you guys are interested in getting yourself a turbo kit for your gt350 or if you've got an 18 or 19 mustang i know they just came out with a very cool kit he's also got turbo kits for other cars as well so if you're interested in checking it out make sure you click the link down there in the description below or you can check out his instagram at hellhorse performance super super nice guy um lots and lots of cool products something that you guys don't know is that me and him have actually known each other for a little bit and I haven't really talked about him before, but he helped me get my stock short block in the Mustang the first time that I blew it up in North Carolina like a year and a half ago now. Me and him have actually had little dealings here and there in the past, but this turbo kit is by far exceeding anything that I would have expected out of him. So great, great turbo kit. It's, it's phenomenal. I really am impressed with it so far that we've been doing the install. Anyways, guys, I guess we'll cut the crap and get started finishing up this kit. All right, guys, I've got to go run and make a data log for VMP real quick. We've got to go do a wide open throttle data log from um, 3,500 all the way to 7,000 RPMs. I did a little wide open throttle pull the other day, but I only did it to 5,000, which was kind of lame. So now we're about to run it all the way up. All right. Oh, crap. Okay, cool. Oh, second. Please tell me I can't reach it. <laughs> I think I forget how fast this car is. <laughs> oh, there is a cop behind me, pulling me over. Hey. Got line yes, sir, I do. I can be honest with you or I can lie to you. It's up to you. You want me to be honest with you? Okay, I'll be real honest with you then. I sit there watch out like, I seen you coming down. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, uh, I just finished this car up and I got, I got a new motor put in it. And right now I'm doing what's called data logging and I have to basically do a data log and send over to my tuner just to get it finalized because I'm hosting an event in Dallas uh, Saturday. And so all I did was I hit this little button to record it and they're just letting, they're making me go through the RPM just to make sure that everything's tuned and dialed in real quick. Uh, and then I got to take it to Dallas. Now, the, uh, it's actually right here behind the seat. I can grab that for you. Step out and grab it. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. I think I'll go catch up to you. If you want to got off, I knew I wouldn't caught up to you. Oh, I yeah. I'm, I'm not the type of person to even try to run either. I'm, I'm not I'm not like that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, He's like, what were you doing? Told him very honestly. I was like, I was data logging the car. I explained it all to him. I told him about the event. Uh, explained the situation. He asked where my plate was. I told him it's behind the seat. I just don't have a place to hang it because of the parachute. He asked if I had it licensed and registered and insured. And I was like, yes, sir. The way that I look at it, there's just, there's no reason to lie to somebody like that. I'm definitely the, the first person that will own up to their stupid, their stupid mistakes and actions. So I think my only hope at this point is that he doesn't try to impound the car or anything like that. But oh, well, if so, then whatever happens, happens. That's uh, it's my mistake. I got a warning. Hang on, let me let me get moving first because I'm like, I'm in awe right now. No way. I kid you not, this is how this conversation just now went. He said, you know what? Since you were honest with me, that's very impressive. Nobody nowadays is honest. People will run from us, people will lie to us, people will do everything else. Nobody ever just tells the truth and owns up to their shit. Since you were honest with me, 
I'm just gonna give you a warning. I'm not even gonna do anything. Even though I'm sitting here seeing that you have no license plate, you have a parachute on the car, you have slicks, non-DOT tires, you don't have, I don't even have DOT seat belts or harnesses. He basically pointed out everything that was illegal on my car, the exhaust, the, like everything. He was like, I'm not gonna ticket you. I just want you to get back home. If you would have lied to me about anything that you said, I would have impounded this car. But the fact that you were honest to me, that means a lot. Take care. And I was like, holy crap. I shook his hand and I was like, dude, you have no idea how much that means to me. I very, very highly value the fact that I try to stay as honest as possible with everybody in my life. So just seeing something like this makes me really, really happy. I appreciate it. And he was like, absolutely, sir. So there you go, guys. That's uh, That was the best traffic stop that I think I've ever had in my life. That was beautiful. Lesson learned. If you guys are watching this, I really hope that this video goes viral so that everybody can have the chance to see this. Cops really are not bad. They're not bad people. They're just doing their jobs just like everybody else. The only time that bad things happen is whenever people start acting out. They start back talking cops. They start not wanting to comply. Stuff like that. You do what they ask and you don't lie. That's, that's literally the bottom line. Do not lie to people. You get nowhere by lying. That was the most valuable lesson and he had no idea that I was even recording or was a YouTuber or anything. So I'm happy that that was a genuine moment that I get to share with you guys uh, to show you guys that honesty really does pay off. Honesty is above all. Is above all. I, I just, I've never been in a situation where it's really paid off that much to just be completely honest. I've been honest with every single cop in the past. And of course I've not had that good of luck. Um, as you guys know, I have a video on here of me going to jail. <laughs> I mean, all, all cops are different, but you gotta remember that cops are just like people. You're gonna run into people that are very nice, you're gonna run into people that are forgiving, you're gonna run into people that are spiteful, you're gonna run into people that are complete assholes, um, but it's that's just how people are, so it, cops are no different. Treat everyone with respect, and 99% of the time, you're gonna get treated with respect back. That's just, that's the way of life. That really did make my day. I don't know why, that just made my entire day so much better. Doug, you're not gonna believe this. I got a story for you. All right, I got my seat brackets in here. As you guys know, I've been waiting on the, the, the correct one because they sent me two of the same one, but I finally got it in. So now we're gonna be able to hopefully install them all today and get a passenger seat in here. That means in the future, you guys will get to see a video of my girlfriend riding in here and me scaring the absolute shit out of her. <laughs> Let's see how this is gonna work. Huh, okay. Uh. Nope. I'm probably gonna turn off the camera now because I'm probably about to start fighting, punching, cussing, and all of the above. Um, I definitely don't want you guys to see that, so I guess I'll just talk to you once we get this seat in here. <laughs> this is gonna be a pain. Like this, and then slide that up there. Slide this down. You can barely creep it down into place, but once I get the seat and everything bolted up, tightened down, uh, we'll be able to start on the harnesses. So let me get this done real quick. Doug just yelled my name, which means that he is at the point that I've been waiting for for a little bit. I got something cool to show you guys, so hang on. Let's pause on that for a second. In this box, I've got something really exciting. I am proud to announce our newest channel sponsor as FIC Injectors. Check that out. Fuel Injector Clinic. That is freaking crazy. That is huge. <laughs> that is a really big banner. Here's a Ooh, gift. Nice, dude. Thanks. Fuel Injector Clinic went ahead and sent us over some 1,000cc injectors for the Shelby. So I really want to say huge, 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 huge thanks to Fuel Injector Clinic. If you guys are interested in checking out Fuel Injector Clinic's injectors, make sure you click the link down in the description below. Fuel Injector Clinic has been someone that I've been really, really, really interested in working with for a long time. Um, I just never had the opportunity to. Uh, luckily, Jeff at Hellhorse Performance has a really good connection with these guys and managed to actually get us an in over there. And I'm really happy to be working with them. They've got great products. Uh, I don't have any in the black car, but I really would like to get some in the future so we'll have to keep that in mind but uh, for now we're gonna be putting these in the Shelby and this is gonna be able to supply us with enough fuel for pretty much whatever that we want to do I'm really proud to be able to represent you guys on this car this is this is one hell of a project to be represented on too I'm excited what oh Doug <laughs> Doug said give me some <laughs> he wants some injectors for his car Doug do you want to come do these injectors now oh, no. Now you can do them. I just had to do my little a little spill on FIC so everybody can go check them out. We're going to be hanging this banner whenever we get a little bit more free time. We're running out of space on the walls, so we're probably going to start moving up to, like, up there. Let's go ahead and jump into finishing up the seat real quick. This is going to feel absolutely crazy in the passenger seat. I'm excited to take somebody in here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no! Hell no! <laughs> Because we're test fitting you. Just don't cry. Like, I just don't see what the problem is. Okay. I'm not betting you, though, because then you'll actually do something to make me cry. Sit forward. Try to sit forward as far as you can. Is that as far as you can go? Well, yeah. Okay. 
That's perfect. So basically, I'm in a roller coaster. Ah, uh, kinda. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, what do you, you mean? You started with no All right, all right, all right. Dude, give me some of that.